Hi everyone, today we are going to show you how to manage who can create Microsoft 365 groups such as Teams, uh, SharePoint and this sort of stuff um, from uh, their uh, applications. Um, by default, um, unfortunately like all the um, users, say for example in Teams are able to uh, create uh, teams and um, if you are running a big organization or a school or um, whatever the case might be uh, you will be having lots of uh, teams and obviously it's uh, bringing down the um, uh, efficiency of your uh, management so uh, for you to be able to take uh, off this access uh, of the user and give the certain uh, am uh, amount of people to have the access to create the group uh, all you need to do is um, run a PowerShell script um, through uh, Azure AD. So there are some uh, certain steps that uh, steps that you need to follow. So the um, I'm basically going to uh, follow this uh, article from the uh, Microsoft itself. So uh, if you first of all we are going to create a, a group. So if you go to the admin.microsoft and uh, go to active uh, teams and groups so all you need to do you have to add a group so it has to be a security group so I'm gonna call it um, permission right so yeah, let's have permission to create groups right next and you don't need to tick that one and create a group so I already create this group and I am going to the groups again and I will be finding that group called permission, right? So I, I will just copy the, the name of the group. I need it later. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck it in here for now. I'm going to share this script with you in, in the uh, caption of, the, of this video. So next step will be me opening up the PowerShell. I normally use the PowerShell ISA. Uh, so right click, you have to run it as uh, administrator. So the first step, you are going to need a um, Azure AD PowerShell module uh, to be able to run this um, PowerShell and uh, to um, communicate with your uh, Azure AD. So uh, you might have it if you do have the um, Azure AD uh, module, so you can update it. Uh, so if you do have the very old version, you are able to uninstall, uninstall it with this um, uh, PowerShell script. But if you don't have it, so you are able to go ahead and uh, copy this and install the Azure Purview. So I already done that. So obviously I do have it. So I am going to open up my IC again. And so because I already ran this, uh, this script here, so my uh, PowerShell, this, um, Windows Server is going to be able to talk with the Azure, right? So I am going to just replace the group name with the whatever group I ran and I am going to copy and paste this script in here. And hit play. So when I'm hitting play, uh, so it will be uh, taking the permission of all the groups, basically, all the groups, except the, the group I gave the permission of. So there is just one little thing that um, I personally had experience with. So when you are running this um, um, script in the PowerShell, um, if you are running um, on the Windows Server um, 2016 and before, uh, so it might give you error, which is um, a IE, Internet Explorer's 
um, enhanced security problem. So for this um, matter, all you need to do, go to the server manager. And here you can click on the local servers. And as you can see here, it says IE enhanced security confirm uh, configuration. So um, for me, that was on. So I just had to turn it off uh, for me to be able to run this script. Uh, and after this, so no one would be able to create any teams or groups in the Microsoft 365 unless they are a member of this group. Um, but bear in mind that um, if someone by themselves, they are the uh, global admin in the Microsoft 365 or if they are a um, admin in the team, like I mean the team uh, console admin, uh, they are sitting above this uh, scripts and therefore they, they, they would have the permission anyway to, uh, to do whatever they want. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video and please do not uh, forget to subscribe. Have a good day.